Oh shit. Oh shit. That fire is, there's a fire. Oh god damn it. Got to tell here. Fuck, it's like, it's like almost midnight. And I just went out to smoke a cigarette down the street. And there's a fucking fire coming down the hill here. Oh, shit. By this time, I had already tried knocking on the door and ringing the doorbell. And I already called 911, and they were fully aware of the situation. Nah, don't go that way. Fuck. Dude, what the fuck? How the fuck did a fire start down there? Yo! I finally saw some lights turn on, so I knew the guy was up, or whoever was in the house. There's a fire! There's a, there's a fire right on the hill, right next to your house, right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I live, I live right down the street. There's a, there's a, there's a fire coming right down the hill. The fire department just showed up, but you're, you're like the closest to the fire right now. Look, they got the fire department coming out right now. I just wanted to wake you up because the fire's coming right down the hill right now. All right. I'm gonna get out your way. Fuck, man. This shit's fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, that fire road, you're talking about the fire road? That's that's all like a mile away. Yeah, we're just gonna go up here. This is your best spot right here, dude. Alright. Really crazy. I, I literally just stepped out to smoke a cigarette and I seen the, the orange glow coming up from the side of the hill. I live about a block and a half down from here. And uh, called 911 on my way up here, and then I just started warning people. Thank you. Yeah, my name's Caitlin. Yeah. Well, thanks for pounding. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I mean, I didn't even hear that. I just I heard the siren. Yeah, I tried to ring your. I don't think your doorbell works. So oh, I. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it goes in and out. Okay, yeah. So I, I, I pounded on his door. He was really skeptical. I, I, I get it. Yeah. You feel me? Because it's nighttime. But I'm like, bro, like, cause we seen this, this stuff, too many times out here, you know. But this is the closest I've seen in a minute. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Except there was one. See the uh, the orange down. the orange smoke yeah and then it started to slow down a lot because it I seen it and I was like that's weird and I went inside real quick to grab my phone yeah. next thing I know I come back outside and it's, I'm like that's definitely a fire they don't know hmm. yeah so shit I'm sorry to say but thank goodness you smoke <laughs> no right yeah and I'm been you, you I'm, was I'm, on lookout I'm, you know? I'm, I'm about three cigarettes away from quitting too so I yeah. was like <laughs> ain't that something yeah, I was like I was like, I was like this is my last pack but I'm gonna smoke these last three. <laughs> So shit. Oh my good. Look now, now they're out here. This shit is crazy. So it looks like they got th this side's under control, and uh, it's still working its way down the hill uh, on the other side here. But it had to have started on the other side of the hill because of the way it crept up over the hill uh, in the first place. So I'm really curious to find out. Uh, the cause of this fire here and uh, I'm just really grateful that uh, these guys came out here really fast and uh, did their job and um, you know so far it doesn't look like anyone's been hurt it's really really not like an extreme fire condition right now 
the only crucial variable is it just being a uh, you know nighttime obviously but that's what these guys train for these guys have been out here for a long time um, and uh, they certainly know more about it than I do so I spoke to the fire chief here and uh, he told me that they're working on it and that's pretty much all he had to say about that so yep It's like a backhoe type type dealy. But they put that shit out hella quick, so shout out to uh, Fairfield Fire Department, man. Way to handle that shit. So if you're in a situation like this, obviously first things first, call 911. Make sure that everyone's aware of the situation unfolding. Um, secondly, make sure that you have your house in order. Um, in my case tonight, uh, we were pretty far away from the fire and in, 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 in my opinion, uh, we've had fires out here quite a bit throughout my entire life and I kind of have a more relaxed approach to them. Um, so it's probably best to be over cautious in situations like this uh, because you never know how they're going to unfold but after you make sure that the uh, dispatcher is aware of the situation at hand uh, you know make sure your neighbors are aware and in my case tonight I went out of my way to wake people up because th there was no fire department on scene yet and that's a good practice too I think just to make sure that people that that are going to be affected by it first aware of the situation if there's not already a, a presence um, of uh, fire fighters and whatnot but it's it's not a bad practice to, um, you know, have like a duffel bag, uh, just on hand in case you need to evacuate in California. We've had crazy wildfires. My family's been affected by it personally. Um, it's just, mm -hmm. you know, one of those things that comes with the territory and uh, if you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. So <sighs> I'm just glad that th this fire was easily contained on our side of the hill and the other side of the hill. I got a buddy that lives on the other side, and uh, it looked way more gnarly. And that's because fires travel uphill fast and they go downhill slow um, in low to no uh, wind conditions like we had tonight so I'm tired uh, it's fall back Sunday or whatever I'll let you guys go just uh, be safe out there if you're in fire country peace out